on BBC Two with Feel Good Friday Bite Size Daily. And for younger learners, press the red button now to head to Bite Size Daily for primary. Round, here we go. A first meeting in history. What a goal! Champions League v Championship. And, that's goal. and the biggest of rivalries. The FA Cup, zero fifth. Coverage of five live games starts tomorrow from three, including with Manchester United v Liverpool. Sunday, 4.30 on BBC One and iPlayer. Brand new The Repair Shop starts Wednesday at 8 on BBC One and iPlayer. This is BBC One in the Northwest. Now the BBC News with Jane Hill and Annabel Tiffin at 1 o'clock. slight fall in the number of people testing positive for COVID-19. One in 55 people had the virus last week in England. The new variant has now spread across the UK. Infection rates in Scotland and Wales have levelled off, but there's an increase in cases in Northern Ireland. Could people who test positive for COVID be given £500 to ensure they isolate? The government's laid down the idea of a one-off payment, but acknowledges the problems. There were problems in the uh, you know, previous tiered systems of, uh, of a lack of compliance here, people being reluctant to uh, isolate when they came into contact with somebody who tested positive. We'll have the very latest on all of that from our health editor also this lunchtime. Police break up a wedding party with 400 guests being held at a school in North London. Retail sales suffer their largest annual fall on record because of coronavirus, with clothing sales particularly hard hit. And no time for release. The latest Bond film is delayed again, dealing another blow to ailing cinemas. And in the Northwest, calls for action after a Cheshire town set a significant flooding twice in less than two years. And on the COVID front line, the second hour of our exclusive reports from an intensive care unit in Cheshire. Hello, good afternoon. Well